nutmeg. Well, that's very good. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jordan. This is my YouTube voice, and today we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to animate type in After Effects to make it appear as if the typography is writing itself on the screen. I apologize for my quarantine hair. I'll just have to deal with it. Um, so I already went ahead and made a composition inside of After Effects. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new text layer and we're gonna write whatever our text is gonna say. Um, and make a new layer. Um, that's too long, let's do this. I already, uh, I picked out a typeface that is kind of a script. I just grabbed the first one I found on Adobe Fonts. It's called Man, Man, Mayans? Mayonnaise? Uh, so let's switch it to that. Ooh, Mayan. And there we go. Make that a easier to see color real fast. There we go. Uh, so once you have that done, let's go ahead and let's make a new shape layer. And that's gonna place it on top. And let's just rename that really fast and call it uh, text reveal mask. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna zoom in real close. Uh, we're gonna take our pen tool and make sure we're on shape mode here. And let's just set that to black so it's easy to see. We're gonna crank the thickness up to like 16. And then we're just gonna really quickly, doesn't have to be pretty. We're gonna cover up our text. Again, it doesn't have to be super pretty. We're just going really fast here. here and usually people when they're writing cursive will do their T crosses last And there we go. Like I said, it's not super pretty. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna increase that thickness. So everything is pretty much covered up. And we're gonna twirl this down, go into content, shape, and stroke. And we're gonna change that to round cap for the line cap. And then the line join, we're gonna do round join as well. And that's gonna give us some smoother edges. Uh, make a new shape layer really fast. Next, reveal mask T. Cross that T. And you can dump a lot more time into it than I am and get a prettier result. But again, this is just to give you the quick gist of it without spending too much time. Roll it down, shape, stroke, round cap, round join. And just kind of go in and adjust it a little bit, just making sure that everything is covered up. G on the keyboard is the hotkey for the pen tool. And there we go. Okay, so let's say, uh, just for good measure, let's start this at one second. 
and I'm gonna put a marker in shift one just so I know where it starts. What I'm gonna do is twirl down to content and then I'm gonna go over to this add button and I'm gonna add a trim path to it. What we wanna do is we wanna leave it like this. So we're gonna put a keyframe for start and end and then let's go up to five seconds mark it, shift two, and then place these keyframes again. Let's see what that does. Nope, that's reversed. So five seconds is way too long. Let's go through. So the way this is going to look really smooth is uh, we're going to want to hide a lot of the details behind speed. So the shorter this is, the cleaner it's going to look. Um, I might even bring this to like a second and a half. And I'm going to copy these keyframes and I'm going to go up to my T and paste them. Then hit U on the keyboard and bring these in so it's super fast. Once that's done writing, it'll write that stroke. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these track minutes. Um, let's just pre-comp those, Command Shift C. So when we play it right now, it looks like that. Super ugly, not what we want. If we set this to a alpha inverted mat, this is what happens. That's terrible. Let's clean that up a little bit. So the, first of all, those keyframes need to be a lot faster. A couple seconds, one, two, three, four. Four frames. So that's the gist of it. Um, like I said, there's a thousand ways to do this and you can clean it up and polish it however much you want, but I'm not gonna take the time to do that. I think the main components of this are what's important and then you can kind of tweak it and fine tool it uh, to your liking. So yeah, that is making type look like it's hand drawn in After Effects. Peace out.